single day. One city. One family. One Chicago. Stronger. Together. Chicago Wednesday returns tonight on NBC. And stream every episode now on Peacock. My knees started to hurt. It got so bad I couldn't walk very far. When I came in for my first consultation, he told me he'd get me back. They treated me well, and they came through on their promises. Many people are told they need a new hip or knee because they're bone on bone. But if there's just a sliver of cartilage left, we can help. It's a whole lot better than it was when I started this program. Call 844-200-PAIN to schedule your no-cost consultation. Our experience in the RVA has been wonderful. The teachers are extremely supportive and Simon really seems to enjoy it and is making friends and he's more socially active now than he was in a traditional school. Something I want other kids to know is that even though it seems like you're not getting any friends, you actually are. I like how the RVA provides a, an environment that more suited to my needs. Up North at 4 with Nate and Jeff starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock. Welcome to Up North at 4. Today on our show, good friend Kristen Harper is back. She gets us caught up on the latest trends and makes sure we've got our decor in order for the fall season. Plus, Buffy returns with another edition of her Northwoods Kitchen. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. <laughs> I might be officially too old for the youth. I don't follow all the trends and I don't have a TikTok account, but apparently a little rodent is becoming the newest social media star. Bella is a gerbil with almost 14,000 followers. Her owners are producers and wanted a little side project to give people something fun to watch. So Bella is a gerbil that loves everything that is 1980s related, dial-up internet, record players, a Walkman, and of course, Blockbuster. Her owner has a background in building movie sets, so building one for Bella was no issue. But the biggest twist? Bella is actually a character played by two different gerbils named Ginger and Charlotte. I think one of those times where ignorance is truly bliss. But not, not, not all animals with skills are cut from the same cloth. In California, a sea otter has turned into a surfing pro. A man by the name of Nick Erickson left his surfboard alone for a moment, and suddenly it was commandeered by an otter. Nick tried to scare the otter away by splashing at it and dragging it toward shore, but the pregnant otter held its ground. Eventually, the board was returned to its rightful owner with a few claw and scratch marks, but Nick says he may now have to finally get that sea otter tattoo he'd always thought about getting. When you were a kid, there was probably no better place to spend the day than at the playground. And one boy in Minnesota finally got his wish for a playground that fits his needs. Quinn Larson is a kid who lost his ability to hear and speak after an accident a few years ago. Quinn donated some of his own money to help build a playground that was accessible to all. And since then, the community has raised over $300,000. Then throw in a grant from the state's DNR. And the plan was finally realized. The park is wheelchair accessible. It has a spot for kids with autism. And it also features sign language art. When it opened last week, about 500 people came to celebrate the new feature in town. You know, as we've covered countless times on our show, truck spilling food items onto roadways is a new passion of mine. And if marketing folks are planning those crashes, so I'll talk about them it's working. This was a scene in Florida where a five truck pileup caused a load of beer to spill over the highway. There were only minor injuries, thankfully, but the crash did leave behind quite the trail of spilled concrete and Coors Light. Normally, these spills can have negative effects for the environment, but it is Coors Light, so really, they just watered the grass. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joining us now live in studio. Jeff, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, Nate. Uh, happy Wednesday. Temperatures are a bit cooler out there today with highs in the 60s. Tomorrow, we're going to go for low to mid 50s for high temperatures throughout the afternoon. Right now, we're at 60 in Rhinelander with a west-northwest breeze around 5 or so. Dew points are incredibly low at 44. The pressure now is rising as low pressure is pulling away. Over in Wausau, it is not 45, but the wind is out of the west right now currently. Currently, and the dew point there at 45 degrees. A very comfortable day, albeit much colder as the cold front has gone through. And our 80s are now replaced with 
50s and 60s are out there right now. And likely tonight, low temperatures down in the low 40s. Tomorrow night, a hard frost and freeze is on the way with low temperatures down near 31 early parts of Friday morning. And look at these dew points. So a measure of how muggy feels. Yesterday, we had dew points in the 70s. Not so much today. This air has really dried out. Uh, your dehumidifier is getting a break out there tonight uh, with dew points in the 30s and 40s across our area. So for now, the warm stuff is being pushed over here. They can have it for us. Cooler, drier Canadian air is on the way. It's already here for most of us. That's going to stay with us for a long time into most likely at least the middle portions of next week. So the average high is about 67. Tomorrow, 55. 60 for Friday. Then we're hanging out in the upper 50s to low 60s for as far as the eye can see right now. So fall, which officially arrives tomorrow, is going to feel like fall around here. And again, though, tomorrow is going to be an issue. Tomorrow night late in the early parts of Friday morning, we're talking hard freeze. It's kind of early for that uh, with low temperatures down near 31. So make sure you protect your sensitive plants. They are not going to like the low temperatures tomorrow evening. Right now, there are a few clouds across our area. There could be a sprinkle tonight. Most of us will stay dry. Overall, we're in a pretty clear mode now going forward into the weekend. As we have cool temperatures tonight with lows down near 41, your full forecast at 5 o'clock. There's case after case. Women working for Tim Michaels Construction Company saying they were groped, sexually assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. When they resisted, they say they were threatened, called a liar, and forced to resign. And when co-workers spoke up, they were fired. If this is how Tim Michaels runs his business, how do you think he'd run the state? Tim Michaels' radical agenda is so very, very wrong. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Your home where life happens. Family and friends gather. Memories are created. Locally family owned business serving Rhinelander, Eagle River and surrounding areas. Come into one of our stores located in Eagle River or Rhinelander and work closely with one of our creative kitchen designers on creating your dream kitchen. Eagle River cabinets, building relationships, a cabinet at a time. At a company, the culture comes from the top. Tim Michaels' company has been sued numerous times over sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. Women who worked for Michaels' company said they were groped, assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Higher-ups at Michaels dismissed the women as liars and even fired those who spoke out. Is that what we need for Wisconsin? Tim Michaels, too radical, too divisive. If you like to drive and you enjoy telling people about how much fun it is behind the wheel of some of the hottest and coolest vehicles on the road today, you should look into a sales position at Kasurik Automotive. It's satisfying in so many ways. And Kasurik is well known for turning it into a well-paid, rewarding career, not just a job. If that fits who you are or if you've always thought you might be really good at it, we're ready to help you discover that potential. Start your adventure at KasurikCareers.com. Well, welcome back here to Up North at 4. Jeff is sort of um, playing. Things, Nate. Yeah, he's, Shiny seeing, things. he's seeing the objects on the table, and he's just drawn to them <laughs> like a moth. Joining us now, Kristen Harper from Phillips Cabin Creations. And, Kristen, I, I, I know I've said this on the show many a times, uh, but just in case you didn't know, fall is my favorite time of year by far mm -hmm. and I'm sure for you fall is a busy time of year because this is when you know interior decorating you're getting ready for the holidays mm -hmm. this is like when it starts to 
ramp up, right? It does. It does. I think a lot of people in the Northwoods like to decorate for fall mm -hmm. because it looks so pretty outside, mm -hmm. and so you want to bring some of that inside, as well as, yes, for us at the store, looking ahead to Christmas already, it's going to happen pretty soon. And yeah. you brought some great ideas, like you always do. Where do we start this time for fall? Where's a good place to start? Sure. So a new trend kind of for tabletops right okay. now is instead of, you know, you have maybe your table runner, your little place in that, is to put a tiered shelf, like the one that we have here, mm -hmm. um, and put kind of all of your little knickknacks right on there. So we've got some candles, some little pup pumpkins oh. with the succulent. Of course, a gnome. I had to bring a couple of those for Jeff. Yeah, maybe some gnomes. artificial floral. So that's a way right now to display lay on your kitchen tables to use something tiered and have multiple levels okay. of things. Also, if you have a fancy charcuterie board, like this log slice up by Jeff, What's he's going to crawl on the ground there. <laughs> uh, when you're not using that to serve food, you can use it to display some of your items too. So rather than ch just having one thing in the middle of a table, we're seeing a larger item with little stuff on it. I love so it. we have a sign, a towel, a candle, a little gnome, some pumpkins. I brought some pumpkin butter. Should be spice pumpkin. Spice pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. Very is that what festive. that scent is? Uh huh. This is May really, I? This, yeah, this is kind of cool. Oh, that does smell so, like, good. So, like, pumpkin's that. good for this time of year, then pine is good for once you get November, right? Yes. yes. I think this time of year we see pumpkin, we see apple, mm -hmm. um, we see some cranberry. Those are kind of the scents. Sometimes they call it just a woodsy scent, which smells a little bit like cologne, like a musky type of uh, oh, birch smell. I get smell. it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Okay. It's that, that walk in the woods, the leaves are kind of decaying scent. Yes. yes. It's, yes. Awesome. It's, uh, it's oddly specific, but when you put it that way, yeah. I know see? exactly what you're talking about. All right. So pumpkin butter, is this the thing? It, it is a thing. Um, pumpkin butter and apple butter are a thing. You can spread them on toast or on a pastry. So it's kind of thick, not necessarily like a jelly, but more like a like a paste. Mm -hmm. And it's good. A marmalade, if you will. Uh, a mar uh, sure, a marmalade. No Give, great is. word. It just sounded fun. <laughs> Say charcuterie again. Charcuterie. Okay. We, were practicing. Sure we were practicing at the break because we weren't I, quite I, sure. Why do you guys, you guys have no faith in it? <laughs> I am curious, though, about this pumpkin butter because I know apple butter is... Uh, uh, Sweeter, right? Yeah, this pumpkin is, sweet. is one of those. Is it sweet? Yeah, at break, let's find some spoons and you can okay. try some. Because I know, like, pumpkin can kind of go either way, whether you go, like, obviously, pumpkin pie is sweet, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll we're going to taste it, it and see. Yeah, it's we'll on try toast. It. Toast. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you can vouch for this, Kristen. Yeah. I'm putting your, I mean, uh, pumpkin's not my favorite. I'm more of an apple kind of person more than a pumpkin person, Fair but it's good. Fair enough. You know what Kristen told me earlier? What was that? That my sweater was premature. <laughs> She told me my sweater she's, is premature. She's the one that knows all, all the rides tomorrow. Uh, which is tomorrow, <laughs> so which is not today. I'm holding on to every okay, last second right, of summer. Right. Okay, I get it. Does your shop smell like this pumpkin? It smells like uh, like about 200 different fragrances because that's about what we have. <laughs> so it smells right. really good when people take things home, like like cloth, like a pillow uh -huh. or something. Like, oh, I love it. It smells it's, just like your shop. It's like free and, um, yeah, it's, fragrance. It is. It's fragranced automatically. No, that's kind of cool. I like this. What is this? Yeah, it's just like a, a, pillow. a pillow. Yeah. A pillow, yeah. yeah. So okay. that's a fun way to decorate couches. So we're decorating the walls. We're decorating the tabletops. We got the smell of pumpkin in the house. We got butter, apple All butter, sorts. pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter. Yeah, should we talk about the shelves a little bit more? Yes. We can do that, but I think we are going to throw it a break here okay. just a little bit. Because uh, you are a woman with, you have like your fingers on the pulse when it comes to decorating. We listen when she talks. We do. <laughs> we really do. But in the meantime, we're going to take a break here on Up North at 4. We'll be right back. More Kristen right after the break. <laughs> Under Governor Evers, hard-working Wisconsin families are being left behind. We're paying more for food, gas, everything. And Tony Evers tried to make us pay even more. A 20% gas tax increase, doubling the tax on home heating bills. And while Evers puts the squeeze on us, he wanted to give taxpayer-funded benefits to people who refuse to work. He even opposes drug-testing welfare recipients. Tony Evers is leaving hard-working Wisconsin families behind. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. 
Wet basements, cracked walls, musty crawl spaces, and settling concrete only get worse with time. And the longer they're left untreated, the more money they cost to repair. SureDry has been focused on stabilizing foundations and repairing basements and concrete for over 28 years. We understand the root causes of foundation and concrete problems and work closely with those we serve to develop permanent solutions. If you have concerns with your foundation or concrete, call us for a free estimate today. Because these issues won't get better with time, they only get better with SureDry. Add style to your home with a new ceiling fan from Menards. Check out our great selection of Hunter fans. They help save on energy costs and provide year-round comfort. Save today with 11% off all Hunter ceiling fans. Do more than light up a room with Sylvania LED light bulbs. True Wave reduces blue light, helping you see better and fall asleep easier. All Sylvania LED bulbs are 11% off now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I received a call that my granddaughter had been hit. She suffered a serious brain injury and nearly died. The driver should have been in jail. Mandela Barnes supports no cash bail that puts criminals like Daryl Brooks back on the streets. He's more worried about criminals than victims. Mandela Barnes doesn't have the judgment to keep our community safe. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Welcome back here to up north at four. So Jeff and I have opened up this pumpkin butter. We're yeah. going to try some now. And Kristen, you wanted to mention, uh, it's not shelving, right? How would you describe these here? Well, I think they're shelves. So okay. um, another trend, so we talked about tables, but a trend for the walls right now are using um, multiple small shelves to make kind of... Um, it's good. Is it good? It's really good. Really good. good. Sorry to interrupt. You, you can, um, you, if you want to double dip, go for it. You I guys can have, have it. Uh, <laughs> um, using multiple shelves to kind of create something on your wall. So I have some six-sided ones, which were called what? We quizzed at before Hexagon. the show. Hexagon yes. shelves. Yes, sometimes we call these beehive shelves. We have some triangle shelves as well. So piecing those together so that you have multiple parts. And let's say you put them in a kitchen. In a kitchen, you could put your coffee mugs on there or okay. some cookie cutters in there yes. like we have in that one. Um, or candles or the little succulents. In a bedroom, you could put something like some of the kids' books up on the shelves or hang a little sign on the top or put some floral in there. In a bathroom, you could roll up little towels and have extra soaps on there. So they're okay. multifunctional. They're inexpensive. You can have them touching each other to make like a hexagon. Uh -huh. You could have them split apart. There's lots of choices, and it's kind of fun See, to do. We should go to her shop one of these days and just have a, her walk us through how to decorate our entire home. Do uh, you think so? Yeah, could, you could do it. Yeah, we could do it. I, you I get mean, questions I, all the time, don't you? I do, and I heard you were remodeling the set, and nobody asked my opinion. <laughs> so I mean, I just know, saying. We brought that up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably should have asked her first. <laughs> Shoot, that's my bad. So we can light the candle. It'll smell good in here. Yeah, yeah it's it true. Will. That'll make up for it. I am curious. Like obviously, these are trends right now. Like, where do you find these things? And and. I, how do you stay so up to date with kind of what's going on with like the the decorating world? Yeah, uh, well, so our store is compiled of like over 200 companies worth of stuff. Oh my gosh! And sometimes I just go with my gut and I'm like, boy, this is on the front page of their catalog. It's got to be right. great, right? Yeah, right? Or I see these in magazines. I see these online. I see these on. Well, I don't have TikTok either, but Instagram or something I you. where I um, you kind of see it there and I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, we should bring that into the Northwoods and see what we can do. Because you it. ordered this stuff back in probably July, right? Oh, even sooner. I think a lot of our fall stuff was ordered in January mm -hmm. or February, as well as our Christmas stuff, too. It's so oh weird gosh. for me to think that far ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like... It hard to like actually wrap my brain so the it. benefit of it is you've just finished that season so like when we're ordering Christmas in January we just finished Christmas so we can see what was trending what wasn't trending and what can we do moving forward well, Chris has got to get the gnomes though Chris you got the gnomes we got the gnomes look how cool these look the gnomes are there Jeff this loves is his Tom gnomes. and Sawyer right here in Tom the meantime though we're gonna take another break Buffy is gonna tell us a delicious recipe but that's next I don't know what that for stick with us <laughs> Prices are going up on groceries, they're going up at the gas station. The only ones profiting are oil companies, big corporations, China, and Ron Johnson. Johnson makes money from investments in factories in China. No wonder Johnson's net worth has doubled since he's been in Washington. Even worse, Johnson's allowed oil and drug companies to jack up prices on us. He takes all that money from them. 
Ron Johnson profits. We pay the price. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Joe Biden on Medicare for All. It's going to raise taxes on middle class people. Medicare for All would double your income taxes, ban employer provided and union health plans, and bankrupt Medicare for seniors. Mandela Barnes still supports Bernie Sanders' socialist takeover of your health care. Medicare for All is the easiest way to get us to universal health care. Mandela Barnes, more liberal than Joe Biden, way too liberal for Wisconsin. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. At Legacy, we transform your old, beat-up concrete into a beautiful, durable surface in one day. Hi, I'm Joey with Legacy Concrete Coatings. We specialize in garages, patios, pool decks, basements, and more. We don't just coat over your old concrete. We start by grinding it down, then we apply the base coat and chip and seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. Our coatings are beautiful, durable, ridiculously easy to clean, and are backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Our in-house team is ready to answer any questions that you have before and after the install. And right now on all projects, we're offering 15% off. Call the number shown below or visit our website for your new floor today. Under Governor Evers, hardworking Wisconsin families are being left behind. We're paying more for food, gas, everything. And Tony Evers tried to make us pay even more. A 20% gas tax increase, doubling the tax on home heating bills. And while Evers puts the squeeze on us, he wanted to give taxpayer-funded benefits to people who refuse to work. He even opposes drug-testing welfare recipients. Tony Evers is leaving hardworking Wisconsin families behind. Buffy's Northwoods Kitchen on Up North at 4 is brought to you by Bassett Jewelers and Engraving in Minocqua and Eagle River Cabinets in Rhinelander and Eagle River. Hi everyone, welcome to Buffy's Northwoods Kitchen. On today's menu, sour cream cucumber salad. In this large bowl, I have two cucumbers that I've sliced thin with half of an onion that I've sliced thin. I have some dill weed, parsley, sugar, mayonnaise, sour cream, and apple cider vinegar. And we'll start with the dressing. And we're just going to, in this bowl, mix the sour cream, sugar, mayonnaise, and the apple cider vinegar. And don't panic if it seems real thick to start with. The cucumbers have a lot of moisture in them and as it sits, the dressing will become thinner. You know, cause right now it's fairly thick, but that is more than okay. And when you have that combined, then you're just gonna dump in your dill. And if you don't have fresh dill, dill weed is perfectly fine and the parsley and now we're just going to pour this over and mix it gently to get the cucumbers all coated. And once you get it all mixed, you're just gonna do salt and pepper to taste. And I think this is best is if you make it an hour or two before you're going to eat it. And my absolute favorite way in the whole world to eat this salad is over brand spanking new, freshly dug, boiled new potatoes. Don't knock it till you try it pretty awesome and now that we have it all mixed together you're just going to cover this and put it in the fridge for an hour or two and then it's ready to go and just like that sour cream cucumber salad from Buffy's Northwoods Kitchen cook on my friends
crime. Up across Wisconsin, families nervous about their safety. Yet Mandela Barnes called for releasing half of Wisconsin's jailed inmates. That would mean releasing over 10,000 criminals right into our neighborhoods. 10,000 reasons your family would be in more danger. Barnes also supported defunding the police. 10,000 more criminals with fewer police to protect us. What could go wrong? Wisconsin Truth Bank is responsible for the content of this advertising. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Ron Johnson's at it again, lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full, but there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class, put more money in your pockets, because I know how hard you work. But Johnson used his tendency to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Welcome back to Up North at 4. Kristen's still hanging out with us because we uh, have a very interesting story. You guys over in Phillips have a very unique visitor. We did. You guys have a moose on the move. We have a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. Was this uh, your trail cam or how did you guys, No. How did this uh, so here? this is my uh, neighbor and friend Lance Johnson, um, not too far from my home, caught the moose on oh the trail gosh. cam early last week. Um, we have had in Phillips over the last few years a moose who travels through every September. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen him different places. My, uh, the first time that they saw one was along the railroad tracks. He okay. got his um, antlers hung up in some barbed wire. Oh, okay. And so they called the DNR who tranquilized him to get him untangled and chipped him. And then since then we've seen him in fields, in random trails. He, later in that day he was over by our bowling alley <laughs> and a few years ago we had one in the grocery store parking lot literally. I love oh this. Gosh. This I is so too. Northwoods to it, me, right? Yeah. There seems to be a moose sighting every year and usually yeah. it's out there in Price County where mm -hmm. it starts and it kind of meanders into Vilas County mm -hmm. you know. and sometimes Forest County too. So kind of cool. I have a question though. Did you get, like is the reason he comes back is because somebody gave him a muffin? <laughs> you know, if you no, they got, they got some pumpkin butter. I, yeah. <laughs> Are you leaving out pumpkin butter for the for the moose out there? <laughs> if we can, someone can track down the moose. I would love to go meet him for up north that floor. If we can make that happen, but don't hurt the moose. Do not hurt the moose. No. We love the moose. Yes. We do love the moose. Yeah. Uh, Chris and also, you wanted to mention Phillips. Oh. You guys got some really cool events coming. Yeah, up. Yeah, we have well, Fall right? Harvest Fest coming up on October first. Mm -hmm. It's a Saturday. There's a bunch of crafts, crafters set up in town, and then the retailers have some things, too. I think Laura's going to be she here tomorrow, is, yes. so she is going to talk more about that, but it's one of our favorite days of the fall. Uh, we have a cranberry marsh in Phillips, and they have started their harvest, and they provide fresh cranberries to sell. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, literally locally made, like, three miles outside of Phillips. Wait, so that's when, cool. when you guys say far, from farm to table, like, that's about as farm you, you to three can. miles away yeah. as you can get. Yeah. I love this. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Kristen, we love it when you come on. We love uh, everything that you guys do at Cabin Creations. We'll have to have you on again at some point, I'm sure. But in the meantime, we got to run. We'll see you tomorrow on Up with that Four. <laughs>
Beautiful home near Minocqua features three-bedroom attached garage, blacktop drive, all nestled on eight acres. Being sold regardless of price. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Journey to North Star Mohican Casino Resort, where winning, excitement, and entertainment unite. This September, we're giving away over $330,000 in cash and prizes, including your chance to take care of business when you win this new Bobcat Mini Track Loader. Receive one entry for every 25 points earned daily in September. Earn two times entries on Saturdays. And don't miss the grand prize drawing on Friday, September 30th. Come to where the stars align at North Star Mohican Casino Resort in 